Well, that happened quickly. <laughs> Okay, so we're getting some woodwork glued in now. We've got the front end starting to go in. We've got the sides going in there as well. That went in uh, two days ago. And then yesterday we got the, that side in. Find the table saw, so we're able to cut these battens down to 22 mil, which would make our lives a lot easier. Have we found it for that side? But uh, it's starting to come along uh, nicely. Bit of a slow job, because every time you uh, put something in with glue, you have to put loads of clamps all over it. So then you have to wait for the glue to uh, go off before you can take the clamps off but as you can see we're getting there Yeah, you're being formally inducted there, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're at, at the end of the Sunday the 8th of November. We've got the battens in on the left hand side. We've got the front window battens in and glued. They're just uh, curing at the moment. And obviously we've got the, uh, the window battens in on the right hand side. Next job coming up is to get a piece of pie cut and get the Buttons on the top fixed into the top rail down there so it's coming along rather nicely give you a little bit of a close-up of this Richard's worked incredibly hard getting all this put together and you can see how much of a French hatch, hatch we'll have as well because the ply will come down uh, smooth with these down or these upright pieces and you can see what we'll have of a front hatch but that's really only going to be for a few electronics possibly a solar charge controller in the future and bits like that so we don't really need much of a front hatch and what do you think you're happy with it good right i think that's about enough for today today is the 9th of uh, november so it's the day that we're meant to be moving back into the caravan this is my colleague jack have a wave jack hello jack's come along as it's the first day of uh, lockdown uh, pixie's barking by the way because the farm dog's called jack they're not friends but yeah, Jack's come along to say hello because it's the first day of lockdown. He's come along to say hi and have a look at progress. Um, Jack is actually a volunteer lifeboatman. So if you want to drown in the bay at Triala Bay, Jack's the man who'll come and fish you out. But, uh, he's, a, he's, a he's, a number, he's a number one fan. <laughs> So it doesn't feel like we've achieved a huge amount today, but um, little bits of progress are being made. So this frame is coming along a little bit now. So we've put the um, horizontal bits in here, like we said we were going to, that'll support the plywood. And we've also put the fillers in for the window, window frame, sorry, here and here. There's one more here that is still to be stuck just here, underneath if you can see. Um, but we haven't got enough clamps so that will have to wait for another day but then that's pretty much the framework done then so we're ready to start sticking the plywood plywood on um, after that which is cool so we might have to put something else here I'm guessing across here to um, bring that out to the same depth as this for when the ply sticks but again we'll we'll probably just fill those bits in as we go along I guess uh, yeah so Getting there still, slow progress now, little bits and pieces, but um, yeah, the rebuild is definitely the slow bit in comparison to the ripping everything to bits stage, so yeah, but we're getting there. So we're going to call it a day for today and uh, go and enjoy the last little bit of the sunshine while we've got it because it's a gorgeous day and um, we'll carry on tomorrow. To replace the inner corners, we've put a large piece of board on the outside of the caravan clamped it up to the uh, window rail to make it square and then what we've done is we've then taken a pencil line around um, so that when we take it down we've got the curvature of the roof we can then cut this out and then that will go on the inside of the caravan then to replace the two rotten buttons so uh, we'll see how this goes
this is quite a moment on the channel. Stay's actually doing some work for a change. <laughs> nope, she's putting in the uh, little okay. corner plastic uh, window support thingy with jiggeries. I don't know what their technical name is, but they window are. Window widget. Window widgets, they look a bit like that when installed. So um, it was one of the first things to come out after the windows. And it's quite nice to see them going back in. It means we're making some sort of progress. It means we've just got so bored with doing it, we're just going to start putting it back together now. <laughs> Nice. Nailed very, it. Nailed it. Very funny. Very funny. Well, that happened quickly. <laughs> We decided against having windows now. Yeah, we thought we'd have uh, no view whatsoever. You're right with that, wasn't it? Now I'll continue on up. Yeah. 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 This is pressure. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Lying down on the job as usual. Uh, you got me, you got me. Well, it's a new day. Um, I'd like to say we made an early start today, but we haven't really, have well, we? Well, we have if you, if you count the afternoon. I mean, it's early afternoon. Right, okay, so it's early afternoon. I'm <laughs> um, not really sure what's happening to the enthusiasm of the project, but we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah. Slowly. I think once it starts going together a bit more, like when the ply's in and stuff, that will, and when we start putting the insulation in, that will start feeling like we're getting somewhere again. Yeah. It's just been like a week of slow work, hasn't it, so? Yeah. And you know what? We're drinking too much whiskey, that's probably what <laughs> <laughs> So, today, I'm going to use a little bit of this three core cable to um, sort these out, bring the cabling round into where the front hatch is. Because whereas before all the electronics were on the floor here um, and they were under the, um, the bench seats, obviously that's going to be in the way now. So eventually all the wiring should be brought to a panel on the front uh, and we're going to keep the front hatch accessible because then if we need to do any wiring stuff, we can get to it. Um, the gas line has already been moved out the way. Um, well, I say it hasn't been finished, but it's out the way. So um, yeah, today's task is sort this little bit of wiring out the front, bring it round to here, then start trimming some insulation for the, the front here. That um, sounds like a wife job. That sounds like a wife job. And then finally, once that's in, we can then put the uh, three mil ply fascia, which is there which is there, <laughs> um, and that's been cut ready with the windows out. We did that last night in the dark, and um, once that's all done, we can we can glue it up and um, maybe fix some staples through it if we need to, but. Sounds good. Yeah. It's all right, I've just got it there. Hello Jack. So it is Friday the 13th of November today and um, Jamie's started back at work for the first time since the uh, Welsh lockdown so Dad and I are here on our own at the caravan today getting a couple of bits done. We're just doing a short day trying to get some little bits and pieces finished off so that we can start getting the plywood in and uh, get moving with it so yeah. Everything takes so long. <laughs> I 
I nearly just did something really bad. <laughs> I've got to saw off this and I was like 30 seconds away from taking this one out. <laughs> so yeah, fortunately. <laughs> So the plan is to board the outside and then the inside of these and then put insulation in between. So that is what we're working on now and the front ply is being trimmed and shaped and it's looking good. Morning, it's, uh, I, I have no idea it, what a day it is today. Monday the something of November. Um, I'm gonna have a crack at getting the electrics back on today. Um, I've just remounted the box for the, for the battery, um, which was a surprisingly tricky job. It took two of us to get it all lined up properly. Um, so I'm gonna get stuck getting the electrics back on and start rerunning cabling and bits and pieces um, so that we can then get this front end sealed up. Stacey's going to have a go at getting the insulation board in the front bulkhead or where the new bulkhead is now uh, and then we can get that sealed off and um, yeah. So we've been a little bit busy over the past hour or so. Stacey's managed to get all the uh, insulation board in the front there, which is a nice little job done. Um, I've got the electricity back on, which is handy. Um, just trying to plan out now where I'm going to run plug sockets, because we're going to put the telly up in this top hand corner here. So it's because it's, obviously we've lost our center console that was here. So telly's going to go up there. So I'm going to have to run a power cord to it. Um, I've already got the aerial lead in situ ready to go. Um, that'll come out here somewhere and I'll have a little aerial socket point. So um, it's coming along nicely folks, really. Um, the wiring was a bit of a challenge to put back together. Fortunately, you haven't done the videos. It meant that I was able to, uh, to cheat a little bit and look back at uh, video four or something, I think it was. So um, we're getting there. It's, it's very slow progress at the moment, moment which is very infuriating, but uh, battery box is back in at least. So power's on. I'm gonna put the battery back in just so it's out the way and off the floor and um, the, the cabling is a bit of a mishmash at present because it's only temporary um, so I'm going to have to work out how I want to reroute these cables and, and stuff but um, yeah we're getting there we're getting there and um, yeah I think that's about it really anything to add? No I think maybe we should say that we're really grateful for all of your encouraging comments and stuff it does actually make a massive difference I know the video updates have slowed down a bit recently because progress has slowed down a bit you're back at work aren't you as well yeah. so you're only doing a couple of days here a week but um they always cheer us up yeah um, especially the ones that make us laugh so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah oh the other thing i did i you know we had the uh, external socket down here um you can probably see this is actually being panelled off now i don't think you can see the rivets on there so uh, we've covered the where the um there was a gas outlet and a socket outlet that's been covered same with that one which was oh yes that was the, the an awning heater that's all been covered and I've removed the electrical cable that fed to there uh, and brought it out through there. Oh yes, and we've also, where the, uh, the aerial was on the outside of the caravan, I don't know why I'm trying to point to it in here because you can't see it. Um, maybe if I extend this. But we also, you remember, I'm, you might have, if you're a really hardcore fan, you might remember the 10 things video and me talking about the aerial which was junk. We've taken that off and we've covered that with a piece of spare aluminium. That was from the bunk bulkhead. So. Um, yeah, I mean, we haven't filmed everything because it's, you know, otherwise it's going to be like a hundred part series, but there you go. There's the aerial in the bin. Right. Desperate now to try and get this front panel on, but there's just other things in the way that need doing first. Um, but uh, cup of tea time. Mm -hmm.
we're on the other way to Klangevni. We're going to go to Bevan's Camping in Klangevni, which is a camping and caravanning shop. We've got to the point now where we're ready to stick rails back onto the caravan, so we need to get some new mastic. And although we could just use Seeker Flex, trying to get the Seeker Flex onto the rail and then the rail up onto the caravan is um, is just it's just going to be awkward. So what we're going to do is going to buy mastic on a roll, so it's like a tape. And um, Bevan's, I've been messaging Tracy at Bevan's backwards and forwards, and she's got the stock in that we need. So we're going to go pick that up from uh, Klangevni, and um, then we will um, be able to get some rails back on, which is cool. We're just popping into Bevan's camping store in Klangevni to get a few supplies for the caravan so that we can continue the rebuild. Welcome to Bevan's in Klangevni. We've got probably everything you need for your caravan and motorhome, whether it's a renovation or whether you're just looking to replace something. If we haven't got it, we can get it for you. So by all means, pop down, come and have a look. So we're, we're just driving home now from Bevan's. It's been a really nice little trip out there. Uh, we got the mastic on the roll, which is great in the in the widths that we needed. So that's super handy. Um, we also popped into Asda whilst we were there to get a couple of pints of milk because we were short on milk. Um, by the way, if you go to Bevan's and Clangevny, the easiest place to park is Asda, uh, and you can get your groceries and get your camping supplies as well. So um, all in all, a good little trip out. <laughs> Haven't done a huge amount of filming today. You can probably hear in the background, we've got a generator running and we've got power tools running over there and stuff, but um, the weather is pretty awful today as well, so it's not great for filming, but um, after we're getting there. Um, we bought a load of stuff for the um, electrics, so I bought new lights to go in the front and I bought new cable runs and other bits and pieces, so um, it's starting to go back together. Um, although I'm now going to have to take out a ceiling panel to try and run the electric and it'll also help to replace a, uh, with some corner support that need doing at the bottom. So um, we're getting there. You can see State is now cleaning up the front end and Richard's there uh, taking a little bit off the 25mm uh, battens around the front to help the seals sit well. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So um, having a good day today. We've got here fairly good timing as well. So um, we're getting quite a lot done. But uh, it's all fitty stuff now, and we haven't done a lot of filming recently because it's just so slow. But we're getting there slowly. I think Sace is going to come over, come over and say something insightful. Are you are you are you going to say something insightful to us, Sace? No, I'm just being deafened. I can't hear anything. Yeah, I'm going to have my sandwiches at him. <laughs> right, we'll crack on after the sandwiches. So I'm going on a hunt for some makeshift insulation. We've got like a tiny space to fill, and um, as we're on a farm, I'm going to see if I can find some sheep, please. <laughs> well, that'll do nicely. Okay, I'm trying to pick some bits that look cleanish. This has been here a long time, so we're not worried about ticks and nasties, particularly. Ugh. We don't need much at all anyway. So I think this will be fine. Ba ba black sheep, <laughs> have you any wool? <laughs> Although it's not a black sheep, but it is wool. And uh, again, in in the land of low cost living, Stace, what are we doing? We are stuffing our caravan with sheep's wool instead of insulation. Yes, don't do this at home, kids, because the uh, the people who run big insulation companies tell you it's very very flammable yeah. and they're very bad for the environment so don't do this because it'll be good for the environment and save you money mm -hmm. but there we are so we've got both sides uh say he's buying a whole bundle of rock wool or a bale of rock wool so we've got some old sheep fleece that was lying in the back shed at the farm here it's been there for like I don't know, two months now, so we're hoping everything that is living <laughs> on it will be dead. <laughs> yeah, there shouldn't be any live ticks in it, only dead ticks. So uh, there we go. Because um, we thought there's not much point in buying the little, you know, the big bale for the little bit that we need, so this will do just fine. Uh, you can see the, uh, obviously the front panels, we've got uh, insulation board in anyway, so it's just the corner. Um, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to try and put the plywood on the front windows. 
uh, which would be handy. Um, yeah, cool. Sorry about the background noise, folks. I think I mentioned earlier we've got the generator going because the electricians are in today doing some work on the farm here. And so the electric's been off and on all day. So I said to them it'd be a lot easier if we just use the generator and then we're, we're sorted. Cool, all right then, let's get cracking. an update all right then so we haven't filmed much at all over the last couple of days because it's just been like slow slow jobs but if you look at the front here I've started to bring all the wiring up from underneath the caravan into the front hatch now this wiring originally was under the seats in the front so the wiring's all about two meters too short or thereabouts so it's just been a real slow progress of you know, making connections underneath, extending the wiring through and bring it up to the hatch where we can make some sort of sense of it really, as well as rewiring bits like these, which I just cut off during the demolition phase. Um, we're getting there though. It's, 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 you know, it's also given us a chance to put extra things in. So that's like a coax socket. So eventually I'll have some sort of hole here somewhere maybe where we can just feed the external area into this bit and then that'll run to another, another coax socket up here. In fact, you can see the coax cable waiting to be wired up. Uh, but waiting for insulation to go in first. If you have a little look in, we've got the insulation board on now as well. Uh, sorry, it's a little dim. We switched the lights off in here, but uh, we're, we're getting there slowly. I think you probably saw from the last video that all the plywood's on. If you come around the other side, go around that, have a look around that window. Um, you'll see all the plywood's on here now. So that's good, because that's a huge step forward for us. But it's just the just the slow jobs now. Unfortunately, that seems to be taking a bit of time. But uh, we're still at it, folks. We haven't given up. Uh, I know we haven't put the video out for a while, but we are getting there. So, do you have anything to add to that, Stace? She's shaking her head. She doesn't want to be on camera today. <laughs> so yeah, that's the update. That's where we're at. It's just slow progress. Had we been putting the caravan back exactly how it came apart then we wouldn't have to extend this wiring so we'd have just run it to the same places again but because I wanted it all in a different location because obviously this area here which was the front hatch is now going to be turned into part by a double bed we're having to uh, relocate some things but we're getting there. All right. 